Write the following sum as a definite integral. Negative 2 plus 8 times k over n, quantity cubed, times 8 over n, between the iterative value k equals 1, up to n, where we take the limit as n approaches infinity. So the goal is to create an equivalent integral, with boundaries a and b, of some function f of x, dx. And we know that this is equivalent to the general format, limit as n approaches infinity, of sigma k equals 1, up to n once more, of f of a plus k delta x times delta x, where a is the value you start off from, k is the iteration, and delta x is the infinitesimally small width that eventually converges into an integral. So we need to find all the values here that match with the values here. We can tell immediately that within the parentheses, this should be some a plus k delta x form. Well, over here, that's being multiplied, it's delta x. So negative 2 plus 8 times k over n equals a plus k delta x. Based on the fact that we already know this is delta x, negative 2 equals a, and this k will be multiplied by this 8 over n term. So a equals negative 2, delta x equals 8 over n, which also equals, if you know for Riemann sum, delta x is the same thing as b minus a over n many divisions, we can multiply both sides by n and have the statement 8 equals b minus a. This is just to find our upper boundary b, since we already have a, which is the point we start off from. Therefore, b equals 8 plus a, which equals 8 plus negative 2, which is the same thing as 8 minus 2, so b equals 6. Now we have our boundaries. So integral between negative 2 and 6 of some function f of x now, dx. We can count f of x as everything that's being multiplied by delta x, which we already know is 8 over n. So it would generally take the form of some mystery value cubed, where we can just call that x cubed, dx. And that's our answer. We technically don't need to go any further, but for the sake of the video, I'll evaluate this. The integral of x cubed with respect to x is x to the fourth over four, where you take the exponent n plus one over n plus one, and this is evaluated between negative two and six. So all we have to do is take the top boundary six, raise it to the fourth power over four, minus the lower boundary, negative two to the power four over four, and this equals 1,296 over 4 minus positive 16 over 4. And this yields 1,280 over 4, giving us our final answer of 320, which is the same thing as the integral we made here and this entire sum. These three are all technically equivalent. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.